This is Jura Finish and it is a tough one. It's up to 60% stronger than Thistle Multi Finish. It is ideal for high traffic areas such as corridors, kids' bedrooms or hospitals. This is Jura Finish and it is a tough one. It's up to 60% stronger than Thistle Multi Finish and per bag covers 10 square meters at a thickness of two mil. It is ideal for high traffic areas such as corridors, kids' bedrooms or hospitals. It's absolutely brilliant. Let's go mix it up and I'll show you how to get it on. Right, my room is prepped and ready to go. I've taped over all the joints and now it's time to get mixing. So if you've bought this product in a bulk quantity, please make sure you use the oldest stuff first. Just check the date on the side of the bag and that will tell you exactly when you should use it by. Make sure you check the back of the bag for the manufacturer's recommendations on what you should do with this product and how much water you should add. Always make sure you use clean, cold water. And when you mix this product up, mix it slightly wetter than you would with standard thistle finishes as it does bulk up slightly in the bucket. Here is a selection of tools that you may need. I've got these all together so let's start mixing. So I finished mixing as soon as all the lumps were gone I stopped mixing straight away. If you over mix this it can affect the setting time so as soon as the lumps are gone stop right away. You're looking for a slightly wetter than normal mix because you need to leave this now once it's been mixed for five minutes and it will bulk up slightly then so make sure it's a little bit wetter. That's it, wait for five minutes and then we can go and get it on the wall. Okay, that's my first coat on to a thickness of one millimeter. We're looking for an overall thickness of two mil, so one mil on the first coat, one mil on the second coat. Just as a bit of a top tip as well, get all your tools cleaned off and then flatten this wall off straight away. You don't want to leave any ridges in it because it will make your life more difficult further on down the line. So let's get it cleaned up and get flattening. That's it, first coat is flattened, just makes your life a lot easier further down the line. So I'm gonna clean my tools off and then go mix up the second coat. Right, I've left the material for five minutes to pick up slightly. And now I'm gonna apply my second coat to one mil thickness to give us an overall thickness of two mil. second coat is now on. I've got my exact thickness of two mil that I need for this product. I'm just going to get everything cleaned off, leave this to pick up a bit and then we can come and get it flattened. Right, I've left the second coat enough time to pick up nicely so I'm just leaving a very small finger mark in the wall when I touch it. So I'm going to go ahead and get this flattened now. Okay, that's it. The second coat is now flattened. Again, I'm gonna leave this now until I give it my final trowel. So I've given the plaster sufficient time to be ready to take the final trowel. This stage can be done using either a steel trowel or a plastic trowel. It's entirely up to you. So that is it. That's exactly how you skim with Thistle Jura Finish. It's an ideal solution for high traffic areas or areas which are going to be prone to impact such as this, a child's bedroom. That's it, easy as that.